I've already shuffled in. We'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So, Leo. The recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got judgment ends with the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, no, judgment can be about uh, jumping to conclusions. It can be about decisions and, of course, judgments that are made too hastily. So, this card can cause a make or break in the connection. And what I'm picking up on is that your person was very judgmental towards you. Yeah. And it looks like you um if you you could have fell 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 back from this connection. Or maybe you felt like they fell back from you because they started to judge you really harshly. And they didn't, your person didn't have room for forgiveness. Or maybe they felt like they forgave you one too many times. Yeah, so somebody fell back. Queen of, Queen of Pentacles falls back and just take, and just does her. And, and enjoy the simple things in life. Yeah, so, I don't know, I'm getting that it was your person who fell back from the connection. Because they were very judgmental about something you did or something you said or, or something that happened in the connection. And they couldn't forgive it. Or they couldn't forgive you. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got the Seven of Swords and the Six of Swords. Now... The Seven of Swords, it can be about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you, yeah, you can kind of look at the picture and see that. It's a card that's above the word present. It can be um, someone spying on you. If you feel like someone is doing this, then you could be right. Or if you feel tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's unless it's that of your minor child who is giving you cause for concern, then you might want to resist the impulse. That's a little bit about the Six of Swords. It's a really sneaky type of energy. Now, it's with the Six of Swords. Six of Swords can be about coming out of a storm. And, and then all of a sudden you find yourself into calmer waters. So coming up, Leo, um, yeah, like I said, your person, they're very judgmental towards you. They feel like you played games with them. Yeah, Seven of Swords can be a very manipulative type of energy also. They feel like maybe you were manipulative or you played games, you used strategy and tactics in the connection or or with them. And the Six of Swords can be about um, moving on. Yeah, she's in that boat and she's moving on. So your person can could be feeling like they need to move on from this. Maybe make peace with you. Six of Swords is my friend zone card. Maybe they could be thinking of just putting you in the friend zone. Because they think you, you sneaky, Leo. They think you played games with them. And they st they're still not able to forgive some of the things that you did. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Okay, so we got this beautiful Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, beautiful Ten of Pentacles. I don't know if you can see the picture of that Ten of Pentacles really well, but there's, there's actually four people there. 
with a lot of pinnacles surrounding them. Ten of Pentacles is is good. It's a place to call home. It's about commitment. It's about wanting a relationship or maybe even a second chance. And the Two of Cups is below it, so Two of Cups is about the ideal partner, um, marriage, proposal, commitment, childbirth, engagement. The Two of Cups is the ideal partner. And this is how you're feeling about your person. You feel like this person is the one for you. Maybe they got a lot of money. Yeah, the reason why you can't see those four people, you, for some of you, you can't. It's hard to see those four people in the Ten of Pentacles, the card above the word challenge, is because they're surrounded by so much money. There's money falling out of the sky. They're holding on to money that fell out of their pockets. Um, there's money just... In, the, in, in front of them, in the back of them, just floating all around. Maybe for some of you, your person is very uh, wealthy. Ten of Pentacles is, can be about a lot of money. But you could be wanting a second chance also with this person. You feel like they're the one for you. But, they, but Leo, they think you're so sneaky. Now, let's see what the outcome is. we got the Knight of Wands and the Moon. Okay, so the Knight of Wands, this tells me that um, there's some messages coming in. Yeah. Yeah, your person could be reaching out to you, Leo, or maybe you to them. But I'm getting that they might be reaching out to you. You could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. That's the Knight of Wands. They could be feel, the Knight of Wands can be a in and out type of energy. They could be feeling like they're still in this with you. But they only got one foot in and one foot out. The Knight of Wands is not in it 100%. Yeah, so you might feel like this moon card, like they're holding back. You might start to feel like they don't trust the connection. You might start to feel like they're not saying how they really feel. Or you might start to feel like, yeah, you might start to feel like um, the person is holding back. And may maybe you're starting to realize that they don't trust the connection anymore with the moon card here. Yeah, so that is the reading that I have for you, Leo. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonate. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Leo, thank you so very much for watching. I, I have a funny feeling I've been saying Virgo because I just finished Virgo. But if I did that, let it go. This is definitely a Leo reading. So, Leo, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So, stay strong and take good care. Come back and join me for the next Leo reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, don't forget to remember the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be your person or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend.
a family member, a co-worker, or even a situation. So yes, just take the readings for however it resonates. Also, don't get fixed on the dates, because time is fluid when you get the readings. This could be now, or it could maybe go into March. So I can never say it enough, Leo. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.